In the book, you place emphasis on the difference between results and success, and we spoke briefly about this in our last interview. Could you now say a little bit more about it? So just as a reminder, results are all about measuring our progress to the vision. In other words, tracking the delivery of our purpose by checking how far we are with the journey. So they're a tangible, rational, left-brain approach to measuring progress but they're not motivational in terms of helping people perform more. And that's where success dif differs, because success is not only an outcome, but it's also the feeling that goes along with an outcome that keeps us motivated to go the extra mile and work for our colleagues and team members. In your last publication, you referred to success as being something personal, and this is consistent with most, most self-improvement books. But now your thinking has evolved. What is different? Well, do you know what? This is one of the things that uh, excites me most about the book, is the fact that success can actually be managed and taken to a level that is more powerful than the personal level. Uh, if you read most of the self-help books, it talks about personal success. How can I be better? How can I perform better? But in actual fact, in complex organisations made up of many, many teams, the challenge is how can we perform better as a team? And because success is both an outcome and a feeling, the challenge becomes how can we make that feeling um, powerful at the team level? And the only way that you can really do that is by team members actually sharing their personal sense of success. In other words, what is powerful to them about the work of the team? And then appreciating that, so having some form of appreciative inquiry whereby they listen to their colleagues and actively uh, in a facilitated way, appreciate what is powerful about what their colleagues are saying. And through that process arises a team sense of success that becomes more powerful than the personal sense of success. And this is where team members will go the extra mile for each other. And when we spoke on the subject of engagement, you spoke of cellular biology. How has this affected your thinking about success? Well, this is why it's really important. Uh, I think when we were speaking earlier about engagement, Simon, we talked about the fact that uh, you know, our bodies are actually a community of 70 trillion cells all working to give us a sense of who we are. And the important thing is that our sense of who we are is at that personal level. So when we think of me, we don't think of all those 70 trillion cells. We think of me, the one individual. And if we copy, we, we also talked earlier about fractals and how we can zoom in and out of life to find out what's going on. And when we think of, for example, a team in an organisation, what we're trying to do is to take that consciousness from the me level to the we level to actually get people to think as a team. So we're actually learning from cellular biology in the same way that we become conscious at the person level rather than the cellular level, so a team can become conscious at the team level rather than the individual team member level. So in practical terms, if a leader wanted to grow a sense of success at the team level, what could they do? This is about sharing. This is about taking time out as a team to get together, probably quarterly or as often as it takes, to actually talk about the work that they're involved with, what's powerful to them, to work out um, the appreciation that is going on between team members and to actively celebrate the successes of the team that the team has decided are important to them. And what sort of structures might they put in place to support this? So that could be your quarterly team meetings. They could be the structures that uh, begin to make team engagement regular and frequent. It could be some kind of uh, social media for the team that allows people to just share the simple things as they go about their days. You know, the completion of a milestone in a project, the delivery of some customer experience. By sharing those things which the team has already said are to do with the success of the team, that sense of success, that feeling that we're onto something, that we're making a difference, becomes what motivates the team to go forward.